All right, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Ooze back again, once again, with another reaction for you guys. And, well, I, I, I try my best to dress for the occasion, but as far as I'm concerned, I apparently don't own any Venom merch, and that's very upsetting. So, had to get the next best thing, of course, have my man Spider Man, because, you know, we. We're rocking Spider-Man all day. And we got Venom. Now, it's been a long time. I'm not even going to say a minute because that exaggeration is literally quite out the window. It's been way longer than a whole 60 seconds since I've seen the first Venom movie. But from my memory, I liked it. I didn't, I, I, I didn't find anything that I didn't like. I actually enjoyed it. And it helped me remember that Venom actually isn't really, like, always a villain. He's, I mean, he's probably known to be a villain to some fans, but... He's actually like an anti-hero, and I didn't realize that until I watched that film way back when. And now we finally have the second Venom movie, Venom Let There Be Carnage. So if you stick, stuck around as any, you know, cultured person would, then you would have definitely seen that after credits where they teased that carnage. And now we're finally getting that second part to this little Venom saga. Now the big question is... And I'm sure everyone's wondering this. Will Tom Holland's Spider-Man play any kind of cameo or portion or role in this Venom movie now? And I'm wondering, the bigger question, will Venom have some kind of role in the overall MCU? Or at least leading into the third Spider-Man film. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, let's go. Damn. Imagine having to live here. It's a complete mess. I say either. You guys say either. I say either. <laughs> and I say neither. Either. Either. Damn. Neither. I was just about to say Venom could cook, but he's just making a mess of everything. Catch up. Excuse me. <laughs> what a life. Good evening, Eddie. Hey, Mrs. Chen. Good evening, Venom. Person hi, Mrs. Chen. He says hi. <laughs> what language was that? I've been thanking you much, you Eddie. Oh, this is this carnage right here. Because you and I are the same. Only in theaters. We ever make. Who do we leave behind? And how do we leave them? Waiting in the darkness for the rescuer who never comes. Cross the spider. Eddie Brock. It's been a long time. Miss you so much wow he's a great actor i don't know his name but i've seen him in a lot of different films Soon come chaos. whoa chaos Soon come. oh snap Damn. Damn, that looks crazy. Yo, Carnage looks OD. The chocolate delivery hasn't arrived yet. No! We had a deal. What's gonna happen? You gonna stop protecting me? I am happy to eat, Mrs. Chen. No, no, you cannot eat, Mrs. Chen. What? Nothing. <laughs> Venom's a goof. All right. So here's one thing that I definitely want to talk about, right? And I'm not going to lie. I, I Well, first of all, let me just preface this by saying that I have not seen this trailer at all. I should, oh, I mean, I shouldn't have to say that. It goes without saying because, you know, that's kind of how I roll when it comes to my reaction videos. But right here, I want to talk about this really quick because I, from my understanding, this particular image right here is apparently the same daily bugle article that was from the original spider-man trilogy daily bugle i mean obviously 
this is probably the first mention of the Daily Bugle that we've heard of in a long time because even if you go back and you watch the latest Spider-Man film, which was Far From Home, at the very end, obviously, if you haven't seen it, like, this is spoilers, obviously, but it's been... it's safe to talk about this right now that at the end of that film we actually got the internet podcast version of i guess that universe's daily bugle however this daily bugle is the same kind of logo as the original spider-man trilogy with uh, toby Maguire, and that's that this daily was from toby Maguire's spider-man so i just wanted to point that out and i guess give you guys my thoughts and and if this is supposed to be some kind of like bigger picture kind of thing where like this venom is not a part of tom holland spider-man universe but he's a part of toby Maguire's spider-man universe but then they're all gonna come together in some form or fashion anyway because of the fact that i mean that's been the big tease and the speculation the rumors that the third spider-man film will literally bring in the other spider-man and have like some kind of mcu styled spider-verse movie with live action actors and basically the last three not counting miles and unfortunately i don't think we're gonna get a miles morales in that one it would be pretty dope if we did but i think that this could be a little tease at that if we're to believe that it's all interconnected in some way but I, i that is pretty cool the trailer was pretty sick Um, It looks like the relationship between Eddie and Venom is still very unique and Carnage looks dope. I really cannot wait to see this film and uh, yeah, I'm I'm actually, I'm really excited. So I want to know you guys' thoughts, of course. Let me know in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, hit me up on Twitter, all that good stuff. Supporting links are going to be in the description as always. And uh, if there's any comics that I should be reading as far as, you know, Venom, Carnage, if there's anywhere you guys want me to start, definitely let me know because uh, I'm, I'm, I've am I'm been on my comics kick, so definitely let me know. All right, guys, make sure you guys take care of yourself. May the power protect you. Keep it locked, little right here on the channel. Stay safe, stay clean, stay inside. I'll see you guys next time.